MMA Weekly here with Justin Salas, heading down to fight uh, Tiago Tavares on his home, his home turf. How does it feel to have to go down to Brazil and fight a Brazilian down there? Well, you know, it's, uh, I feel like it's a, it's a good opportunity for me. And uh, to me, it's all about the challenges, you know. So this is obviously a challenge going to Brazil, fighting a Brazilian. But I think that's what brings out the best in me as a competitor is putting me in tough spots. So, um, you know, you're always nervous. You always have a certain amount of anxiety just no matter what fight it is. Uh, being in the UFC, but um, to me, I'm looking at it as a great opportunity to go down there in a, you know, what you would call a hostile environment as far as you're not going to have the crowd on your side, you're going to be in a foreign place, and uh, I want to show everyone how uh, I can rise up and conquer those kind of challenges, and that's just kind of competitor I am. Uh, you obviously prepare physically, but do you do anything special mentally that going off for somewhere into the unknown like that where it's a, a place you haven't been before and, you know, a place that is known for pretty rabid fans? Right. Not not necessarily dangerous fans, but just fans that are very wow. passionate about their home guys. Yeah, you know, obviously you have to prepare physically or you just won't make it. But to me, I think, uh, especially at the point of the career, in my career where I'm at, the mental side is the hugest part to me. I think being mentally focused and mentally, uh, you know, um, at ease and balanced is is a huge part of performing physically out there in the cage. So, for me, pre preparation mental is almost as much, if not more, than for me physical because you got to control your emotions. You're gonna have screaming fans, you know, doing like meditation and visualiz visualization. And to me, I think that's been a huge help for me as, as far as controlling my emotions out in the cage and being able to hone in and just focus on performance. But Tiago's been around for a long time. He's got a lot more experience, especially under the bright lights of the UFC. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that's any advantage for him? or? Uh, you know, on paper, you're going to look at that and say that's an advantage. And so um, I, I, I wouldn't argue with it too much, but just I have a lot of confidence in myself. And um, I've been under the lights a lot of times, you know, not only in MMA, you know, in other, you know, my wrestling career and stuff like that. And to me, I feel like that's what makes me rise up. So he, he has experience and he's been there, but that's not going to help him beat me. You know what I mean? Because I, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to fold under the lights. I feel like that rises me up. So if he's good under the lights, you know, more power to him. So am I. So it's just going to make for a better fight. So to, for me, I'm more worried about myself than him. You know, he's had his chance. As far as I'm concerned, I feel like it's my turn. And that's the way I'm going to approach it, you know. My hat's off to him and all the respect in the world to anyone who will ever step in the cage. But, um, you know, I'm, I believe in myself 120%. And so <clears throat> I, don't, I, don't, I won't give him that advantage in my head. I won't give him that. And if, they, if other people can see that and think about it maybe, for them that's an advantage. But to me it's, it's not because I'm, I'm a, a competitor and I'm a performer. And don't matter if it's my first or my 100th fight in the UFC, I'm going to perform. You know, I'm looking to go out there and just impose my will for every second of that fight until the, until the, until the end, you know, until the last bell rings. So, you know, ex expect a hard, uh, high pace. Expect, uh, for me, I'm ready to go to deep water as soon as we have to. So um, I think that's where uh, I'm going to come out and, you know, put on a show for the crowd. So I'm never looking to ease my way through a fight. I'm looking to create a lot of action. And uh, I have a lot of different ways to create action. And so, I, you know, that's all I want to do is just create a great performance. And uh, I want people to see my name on a card and they want to watch that card because they know that every time I'm going to step in there, it's going to be dynamite.